What's your favorite color? As an AI language model, I don't have personal preferences or the ability to own things. So, today we are going to be building an AI powered smart mirror, or two way mirror, or Raspberry Pi mirror, or one way mirror, or whatever you want to call it. But I think the main goal of it all is I want it to be somehow AI driven. So there's been this concept of like a magic mirror for a while. If you have a Raspberry Pi um, and then get a one way or whatever you want to call it, basically a pane of glass to where um, you can only see one way through it. It's basically a really cool piece of technology where it's not impossible to look through one way glass, but the way you are looking at it, the way the light is refracted off, it basically creates a cone around your eyes to where you can't see in. I'll throw up some visuals here and maybe do a little bit of a voiceover for a better explanation, but you can basically get these pieces of glass on your Amazon or eBay. Um, they're quite expensive, definitely not cheap, um, but I bought one and I got myself also a frame. So without further ado, I'm gonna take you guys through the building process, maybe some time uh, stamps will be down below and I'll also probably like speed up because some of the building is pretty boring like cutting out stuff, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy and let's start this uh, build time-lapse. All right, so right now I am actually going through and basically unboxing everything i got a nice 24 inch asu or acer excuse me uh monitor pretty cheap off amazon this was only like 60 bucks i should have all the uh, products in the description uh, just amazon links if you're looking for it so right now um, i'm actually taking the uh, backboard or cardboard backplate if you would out of the picture frame and then removing the plastic insert. Um, I don't need the plastic insert as we're going to be putting in this nice one-way mirror. Uh, so after putting it in there's basically these metal tabs which I'm then pushed down and then as you can see we're going to be putting that uh, cardboard back plate on the back again. Um, but before we can put it back on, we're gonna wanna make the cutout for where the monitor is going to be. So I measure it out, um, stencil it out with a pen, and then I basically just go in with an X-Acto knife and cut away. It was a lot tougher at first than I thought to get through. I tried a few things, but basically just some trial and error. And then once I got the blade through on the first try, it wasn't too hard to just cut through. Um, not some of my cleanest cutting work, but hey, it gets the job done and that's what counts. So I sanded down all the edges to make it nice and smooth so that the fit was better and then tested it on the monitor and everything was looking good. While I am cutting this board up, I am going to move on over to the Raspberry Pi. So I just got the basic kit off Amazon. It's a little bit more expensive, but it gives you like the nice case, the charging uh, cord, stuff like that. But if you already have just like a Raspberry Pi, like I have, I want to say three or four Raspberry Pis now, but uh, for different types of projects, this is just another one needed for another project. Um, it's just nice and easy to get this because uh, it comes with an SD card, comes with the case, comes with a nice fan, so on and so forth. So it just makes the setup a little bit easier, especially if you're a first time Raspberry Pi buyer, I highly recommend getting the starter case. Um, but yeah, putting it all together, putting the heat sinks on, putting the uh, USB microphone into the case and then attaching the fan here. We basically have the Raspberry Pi all set up. So now what we're gonna wanna do is install the software here you can see it is on the monitor that we are going to be putting into the mirror. Um, and then I'm going through the uh, Magic Mirror GitHub. So basically, step by step, it's very easy. Um, just a few commands you have to run and basically it installs the whole Magic Mirror software for you and you don't really have to do anything. So yeah, once we boot up the Magic Mirror software, here it is. Um, it looks good, looks cool but it's bland and not really what I'm going for. I wanna add some customization to it, some cool uh, different features, as well as my own AI uh, assistant. So to do that, basically more GitHub work. We're gonna be going through searching for different modules, different weather widgets, uh, YouTube embedded links, and some Spotify, uh, installing all of those and getting them up and running. And now flashing back to where we were with the mirror cutout, basically I just take the mirror, come down here and clean it all since once this back plate goes on, it's going to be 
pretty much impossible to get off. I mean, it's definitely possible, but a lot of work. So I'd rather not get any, you know, hairs or fractures or uh, dust in there or anything like that. So cleaning the screen, looking all good and placing in the monitor, we're able to then uh, start up the hot glue gun and just go to town. Basically glue every single square inch of the back of this thing so that it will not move from the frame or from the uh, cardboard itself. So after that all being done, we actually then uh, spray paint the back. So I decided to spray paint the back black just in case there was any sort of uh, light gaps or areas where light could come in uh, just to make sure that the back was very dark and blocks out all of the light. So there isn't anything that could shine through the back and uh, basically ruin the uh, image. Uh, with our frame pretty much all done, the only thing left to do is really to hang the thing. So uh, you get to watch me here struggle as I'm trying to make sure this thing is level um, while you know putting holes in the wall and uh, putting it all up. I went with a um, like two or actually three hook uh, like mechanism. Basically, they they're like fold out hooks that go into the wall. I could have gone for more of like a wall mount, uh, like actually from the frame, but with the Raspberry Pi off the back, it did stick out a little bit, and it made it so that uh, basically it would it would be a lot of weight to put on like a little hook or frame. Um, so I just didn't really feel like trusting that. So I went with this dual hook method and, or the three hook method actually. You only see two here, but I do have one up on top here at the end and um, it works just uh, just perfect. I don't need uh, any other, like I'm not worried about it falling. That's for sure. So it starts up well. As you can see, I'm pretty excited. A YouTube video is playing. Uh, we got all of the sports scores in the bottom right. We have Spotify, what's currently playing in the bottom left. A new scroll on the very bottom. The top left is gonna be our time and uh, just like holiday information. And then top right is gonna be our weather for the local area. So now we have the uh, magic mirror built. We have the code for the magic mirror, like on the Raspberry Pi all finished. The next thing that I want to do to take it to the next level is add my own AI assistant to um, the mirror. So basically I want to be able to trigger it with a keyword and then uh, basically be able to talk and have it answer questions uh, and just kind of be like my own personal assistant for my room. One of the things about the current like companions, whether it's like Amazon, Alexa, or Google Home, is that you always have to use the keyword um, and that's kind of annoying, like if you want to repeatedly talk or repeatedly ask questions. So one of the things I'm definitely gonna make sure to implement is like a timer, um, probably around like, I'm thinking like, 30 seconds or so, or maybe even less, like 20 seconds. But after you give the keyword, speak, like say you answer your question, it'll answer. And then it'll give like 20 seconds of time to where it'll listen. And if it hears another question or just hears you speak in general, it'll continue to talk. But if it doesn't, then it'll shut back down and keep looking for that keyword. Um, to do this, I've looked into this before actually one of the very first python projects i personally ever built was like my own ai um or jarvis if you would uh, basically language interpreter um using your standard python libraries and uh like google speech to text i think or something like that i'm gonna use kind of a similar approach except i know there's a lot of libraries out there that i could use I'm just going to make it simple and make it so that it's just going to be an open, it's just going to be chat GPT. It's just going to be open AI's chat GPT wrapped into Python and then um, basically use their wrapper and just call chat GPT with my questions because I think it'll give me the most realistic-esque AI for myself without going to the lengths and depths of spending months and months on, you know, generating my own language, training the model, stuff like that, um, where I just, in all honesty, don't want to spend the time to do it, and somebody has a, uh, you know, an API I can use, then I'm going to use it. Um, so, yeah, 
I think that's the way we'll go about it. And as you can see, I've actually just coated it up while we've been talking about it. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's uh, let's give this bad boy a try. No, the president of the United States is not the leader of North Korea. As of now, the leader of North Korea is Kim Jong-un. He has been in power since 2011, following the death of his father, Kim Jong-il. Who is the president of the United States? As of my knowledge, the current president of the United States is Joe Biden. However, I'm not sure what you mean by fake Korea or the connection between the president of the United States and this term. Could you please provide more context or clarify your question? Hey, what's the weather? Hello, how can I assist you today? What's the weather? I'm sorry, but I'm an AI language model and I don't have access to real-time data. Could you please specify the location for which you would like to know the weather? What's your favorite color? As an AI language model, I don't have personal preferences or the ability to own things. I'm here to provide information and help with any questions you may have. Is there something specific you would like to know or discuss? What is 6,000 times 500? One thousand times five hundred equals five hundred thousand. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, the AI uh, model training could use a little work. Nothing to do with ChatGPT side. I think, in all honesty, it's the microphone and the placement of the microphone. It's literally behind the mirror, like very hard to actually hear where my voice is coming from. So, like the pronunciation of words, it sometimes would fumble up on and uh, sometimes it wouldn't really understand my questions that well, but it's really cool to just have somebody there that like you can literally just say something to and it'll trigger and then it listens and then speaks it out. Um, I personally am really excited and will probably use it a lot more than I think just asking stupid questions when I'm bored. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I personally had a blast with this project. Uh, it was a ton of fun. I like just building stuff. It's definitely something that I've grown a lot more into. Like, I mean, I've always liked Legos and stuff, but my roommate uh, is always building things and making cool projects. So this was kind of like my first big project um, that like I built myself and did some cool things with. So I really enjoyed it. It's definitely something that I could see myself doing again um, and like continuing. So. Um, yeah, let me know like what comments or questions you guys have down below um, Literally anything if you want to know like I don't know specs on the mirror all the products that I use should be in the description But yeah, if you have literally any other questions, let me know down below and uh, Let me know what I should build next. I've been looking into maybe like a weather station like my own personal weather station Maybe routing something up and out of my window or something like that and on top of our roof um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.